I open a lot of CS2 cases. They're very popular videos and I've been doing them for over four years now, which isn't even as long as some other people. I mean, Anomaly has basically been making these things since the early Triassic. But one thing I've never done, partially out of sheer embarrassment, is actually count how many of these cases I've actually opened, or calculate how much money I've spent on them, or explain how I can afford it at all. And in this video, I am gonna be going through all of that and explaining how much I've opened and how this all works. Let's get into things. Now, this video is brought to you by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. Skinport has a huge range of skins, over 1.5 million of them, and it prices miles better than the Steam market. And not only is it much better value, but there are zero hidden fees if you're a buyer. If you see a skin for $100, you're going to be paying $100 for it, and that's it. If you're a seller, payouts are sent directly to you in your local currency, and a ton of countries are supported. Fees range from 12% to 6% on high value items, and only 2% on private listings, making it a fantastic middleman service as well. And it's also safe. They've been operating for years, and they've got a 4.9 star Trustpilot rating. It's a great site, check it out link is in the description so there's a spreadsheet on my google account that actually tracks how many cases i've opened or at least it's meant to this sheet has 61,200 cases recorded on it a pretty decent number opening that many cases would cost 152,388 usd just for the keys not counting the cases and the only problem with that number is that this spreadsheet is actually woefully incomplete it specifically covers 35 unboxing videos in total, which may sound like a lot, but I've actually got 75 case unboxing videos on my channel. So we're definitely missing quite a few cases here, but luckily there are other ways I can figure out the correct number. I mean, Valve actually just outright tells me, if you click here, then here, you will get taken to your personal monument of shame. My monument on my main account is 219,671 fucking dollars. And that might sound like a lot, but the truth is, this is actually only one of the accounts I open cases on. I've got five other accounts I open cases with. Uh, one of them has over $50,000 US spent on it. One of them has over $20,000 US. Two have over $10,000 US. And then there's this one down here of $2,000. Now, this number needs to be rounded down a little bit because I would have spent some of that money on things like Operation Stars, but we're still probably looking at about 310,000 US dollars. And that's a fair bit of money. It wouldn't buy a house right there, but it would get you about 35% of the way there. It'll also get you the most expensive model of Tesla. It could pay for 10 pretty expensive holidays to Vegas. But in my case, it's opened me 124,497 CS2 cases. Now, you might be thinking that that number is utterly insane. Who in their right mind opens that many cases? But the thing is, this isn't all the money I've spent on cases. Yeah, it, it gets worse. You see, back in the dark ages when people lived in shit and vile gangs of thugs ran around beating people up, CS cases cost about three cents. So the price of them didn't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. But today, things are different. In fact, a lot of the cases I open are just as expensive as the keys themselves. Now, I don't keep track of exactly how much I spent on cases, but Looking at my most recent videos, we can see that I've opened Fracture Cases, Revolution Cases, Prisma Cases, Revolver Cases, Chroma 3 Cases, Chroma 2 Cases, Vanguard Cases, and Glove Cases. And some of those cases are getting really fucking expensive these days. Now, my guess, particularly given cases used to be cheaper in the past, like they'll, they'll never cheap, but they've certainly gotten a lot more expensive while I've been opening them, is that for every dollar I've spent on keys, I probably spent about 50 cents on cases. And factoring that in, I haven't spent 310,000 US dollars opening cases. I've spent 465,000 US dollars opening cases instead. That's enough to buy half a house where I live. So th the point here is that this is a lot of money, ungodly amounts of money, life-changing money. And people do ask me quite a bit if I'm addicted to these things, and I get why they ask that. However, the truth is, behind the scenes, none of this is what it looks like. 
Firstly, as quite a few people would have noticed, I haven't been talking about real money here. I've been talking about Steam Wallet dollars, which is not the same thing as real money. If you buy something off a third party site and sell it on Steam, you'll save about 25%. And that is what I've done for these unboxings. And also when you open stuff, the money doesn't disappear into thin air. Sometimes you get stuff from the cases, sometimes very valuable stuff. And because I reinvest all the stuff I open back into case unboxings, on average, I save about another 40% on the cost. And when you factor that in, the actual cost in cash is a bit different. It's more like 210,000 US dollars. Now, I'm going to swap it to Australian dollars here. So that's about 320,000 Australian dollars. And I have an accounting spreadsheet where I track my income and expenses. It's not 100% perfect, but the records I've kept show a net loss of $293,000 opening cases, which lines up pretty close with what I've just calculated. And yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. But think about what that money has actually gotten me. The videos on this playlist alone have 27 million views. That's 27 million views I get ad revenue for, 27 million views that introduce people to my other videos, and 27 million views I can put a sponsored plug in and even get affiliate revenue. It's not like the cost of these cases has just gone up in flames. There's been a return. And how much is that return? Well, I'm in the unfortunate position of having linked how much money I make to an audience of millions, or at least I leaked a guess off the top of my head that I came up with on the spot for a TikTok interview. How much do you earn every year? 550,000, something like that. But regardless, if you take that number and do some maths, I think it'll become pretty obvious how this all works. People, you know, ask me how I can afford the cases. Uh, you'll be able to see how I can afford them pretty quickly. It is still a very wild business model though. I don't know what I would have thought 10 years ago if you told me I'd be doing something like this partially for a living. And at the same time, it is equally crazy that unboxing videos have been a genre for about 10 years and there's still a massive audience for it. And to be fair, at least on YouTube, there has been a real arms race to make the best unboxing videos possible. I don't know about Anomaly, but me and Sparkles definitely collaborate with editors and I can't speak for the other guys, but modern day unboxing videos definitely take me ages to make. And so long as this type of content remains lucrative, which I think it will, at least in the near future, I think it's likely that case unboxing videos are only going to get more expensive and more elaborate as time goes on, which I guess is a good thing for viewers, so long as they don't try opening cases afterwards. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.